the Farwang Batua Temple in Thailand, some 100 kilometers west of Bangkok, accommodates some unusual guests, tigers. Are they linked to the world's oldest philosophy? According to legend, one day when Buddha was meditating, a starving tiger came up to him. In goodwill, he offered the tiger his thigh, then his arm. The tiger was saved. <clears throat> Are the monks of this temple following the example of the great Buddha? After studying economics in London, I was diagnosed with cancer. I was miraculously healed and then became a monk. And I started this monastery to meditate in the heart of the forest. In 1994, I saw a wild tiger around here. Soon after, I found it poisoned. I saw this as a sign. I had to protect the tigers as well as other wild and domestic animals. In 1999, I rescued my very first young tiger. I have about a dozen now, including the four cubs born this year. They live with me in the house and on the terrace. They thrive on the attention I give them. I take care of them as naturally as if I've done this my entire life. Yes, the monks do in fact follow the example of Buddha. They believe that if tigers are to be saved from extinction, they must relinquish their predatory natures. So in the monastery, the cats are raised according to Buddhist principles without any violence or any form of aggression. The monks are convinced that the food the tigers eat conditions their behavior. The cubs are fed like babies and always by hand to establish a friendly contact. The grown tigers devour boiled meat and even dry dog food. There's no scent of blood in their menu. It's designed to soothe them so they forget their hunting nature. To prevail over the extreme violence of the tigers, the monks try to channel their energy. They encourage them to give up their wild sides and listen to the men. The monks also combat the natural aggression of the tigers as a way of purifying the karma of the souls of humans that have been reincarnated in these animals. In keeping with the principles of Buddhist compassion, they teach the tigers in the hope that their next reincarnation will be more peaceful, especially when it concerns their old friends, whom they say they recognize among the tigers. The men strive to maintain a peaceful cohabitation among the various animals living within the monastery. It's not easy. As tigers grow up, their basic instincts soon come to the fore. When angry, the animal can attack at any moment. Yet the men are not afraid. They know the personalities of each and every tiger and what it takes to pacify them. We can be reincarnated as a tiger, elephant, dog, cat, bird, and any living creature. I'm convinced that some of the tigers in the monastery are old friends. Great monks who were not able to overcome their anger and who were reincarnated as tigers.
calming the anger of human souls, the mission is dangerous when facing these big cats. Thank you.